Hello all. So in all our previous session, we have done some of the very data cleaning stage. We have dealt with TF-IDF. We have converted our data for the modeling purpose. So in this session, I'm going to teach you how you can split your data and how you can apply machine learning algorithm over your data. So you will see this exactly is my data and you will see in X, this is exactly my X. So you will see this is exactly the shape of data. So in X, I have all the data or I can say I have all the independent data and in the Y. So this is exactly my Y, which contains my dependent data. So now very first you have to just split it. So I'm going to import very first from scikit-learn. I'm going to say using this model selection, I have to import my train test split. You can press tab over here as well. So using this train test split, you have to split your data. So just initialize this class. And if you are going to press shift plus tab, it will receive array or I can say data, which is exactly my independent data as well as dependent data. So all my independent data in my capital X array and my dependent data in my small Y array. Now you have to pass your test size. It means if you are going to set your test size as 0.2, it means 20% of data will be considered as for testing purpose, whereas rest 80% of data will be considered as your training purpose. So it will basically return me my four parameters. So I'm going to store the very first one is let's say X underscore train. Let's say the second one is I'm going to name it as X underscore test. And the third one, let's say I'm going to name it as Y underscore train. The fourth one, I'm going to name it as Y underscore test. So just execute it. Let's say I'm going to check what exactly is the shape of my X train data. You will see it will show me somewhere close to this 535,000. So here, if you are going to scroll a little bit over here, you will say this is exactly my 100%. So 80% will somewhere close to this 535,000 because you have set your test size as 0.2. So now you have your data ready for your modeling stuff. So what you guys can do, you have to just import your logistic regression class. So I'm just going to import from sklearn or I can say scikit-learn dot linear underscore model. I have to basically import my logistic regression class. You can press tab as well. So just executed and using this logistic regression, very first you have to initialize this. So let's say I'm going to set my random underscore state parameter as zero and I have to set my multi-class parameter as let's say multinomial because you will see this is exactly having more than two subcategories in your data. You will see if I'm going to scroll it over here, you will see it has three categories, zero, one, and two. That's why I'm going to consider a case of multinomial logistic regression over there. So let's say it will return me a object as CLF. So using this CLF, you have to just call your fit because very first you have to fit your data. So here I'm going to say, the first one is exactly my x underscore train and the second one is exactly my y underscore train. So this is exactly my this one just executed and it will take a couple of seconds depending upon the resources of your system. Now you will see these are exactly my by default parameters selected by your logistic regression. So now it's time for doing your prediction on your data. Let's say I'm going to consider some rare case and I'm going to do prediction on that data, which is not available in this data set. Let's say the password that I'm going to consider some random password. So very first I have to just convert that password in the form of let's say array. So here I'm going to consider that password as any random stuff that you want to consider. Let's say percentage at the rate one, two, three and ABCD. So let's say I'm going to store it in DT. So now I have to transform this password in some numerical format because my machine learning model is not able to understand what exactly is this string data. So using the object that I have created, which is exactly my vectorizer. So if you are going to press tab, you will get your vectorizer. So here you have to call just transform function. And in this, you have to just pass this array, which is exactly my DT. So let's say after it, you have to store in, let's say, pred. So on this pred, you have to just do prediction. So I'm going to say clf dot predict and here you have to just pass this pred. So just execute it and it will return me this one. It means it is of average strength password. In a similar way, you can do prediction on your 
x test data so for this what i have to do using this clf clf you have to just call your predict so i'm going to say predict and now here you have to pass your x test and let's say after doing prediction i have to store let's say in y underscore pred and now i have to let's say print it as well so just executed and these are exactly all my prediction in the form of array in a similar way you can also consider some of the advanced classifier let's say ada boost random forest cat boost xg boost and some more advanced classifier as well for your prediction as well as for training purpose so it's the time to check what is the performance of your model so for this you have to import just confusion matrix the second one is your accuracy score and the third one is your classification report so these are exactly your three metrics to determine how exactly your model is performing so i'm just going to import all these stuff so i'm going to say from scikit-learn dot matrix i have to import the very first one let's say the first one is i'm going to import my confusion matrix as well as i'm also going to import my accuracy score so just execute it and using this confusion matrix i'm just going to pass my both the array over here the very first one is what exactly my testing data so what is my y underscore test and what is my prediction so it is basically my y underscore pred so let's say i'm just going to store it in cm so it is exactly my cm and if you want to print it you can print it as well so now it's the time for your accuracy score so in this accuracy score you have to just pass both the array or i can say if you have to do comparison between both so you can pass these both these stuff so copy paste from here and just paste over here so let's say this is exactly this one so i'm just going to print it so just print and just execute you will see this 5318 this 92928 and this 11642 are my true positive value it means these three are my true predictions whereas these all are my false prediction that's why my model is performing 82 percent or i can say it has an accuracy of 82 percent in a similar way you can check your classification report as well so i'm just going to import very first what is my classification report so classification underscore report so classification report and here you have to pass your y test and now you have to pass your y pred as well so this is exactly my classification report and you can print it as well to get your precision to get your record to get your average score as well as what is your support so just execute it and it is showing me not because i didn't have add f over here so this is exactly my all the stats for my model you will see it has a very good precision for zero for having 0 0.94 and having 0 0.75 as well whereas it has also a very good support so you will see my model is somehow not i can say best model but it's a very good model and if you are going to apply some of the advanced classifier over here its accuracy will definitely get increased and if you want to play with the logistic regression in build parameters you can play it as well by basically hyper tune your model so that's basically your assignment how you can perform hyper tuning on your data so hope you love this project thank you have a nice day keep learning keep growing and try to explore it from your own side